Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, 85% of my viewers are currently not subscribed to my channel. That is really high, and my goal is to drop that down as close to 50% as possible before election day. So please, if you haven't already, click the big red subscribe button down below. It's free, and it makes sure that you will never miss another one of my uploads before the election and afterwards. Thank you all so much for the support, and let's get back to the video. We're getting to a point now in this election where over 60 million ballots have already been cast, and the only chance President Trump has of winning this race is if there is some major error in both national and state polls. Or of course, if he manages to somehow steal this election. But the latter is more plausible. In two of the last 10 elections, there has been a 5 or more point swing between polls at this stage and the final result, and we can only assume that there is a 50-50 chance that swing would favor Trump and not Biden. So historically and statistically speaking, there is a 2 in 20 or 10% chance that Trump gets back in it and has a chance at re-election. Currently, 538 gives him a 13% chance at winning the race, but that is in large part because their forecast uses data from elections dating way, way back when errors in polling were a lot more common. Having said that though, there is not much of a difference between 10 and 13%, and throw in the fact that over a third of the electorate has already voted, and you're probably looking at an even lower probability. However, personally, I don't believe, nor do I want to believe, that his chances are that dire. This is because if he wins in all of the states he is basically certain to win already, as you can see here with the black borders, his chances already rises by 4%. Then throw in Texas, Georgia, Ohio, and Iowa, four states he won by over 5 points in 2016 that I am also very confident in saying will remain red, his chances all of a sudden rise to 38%. For reference, that is 8 points higher than his chances were of winning going into election night in 2016, according to the same model. That being said, if Joe Biden were to win all of the states he is expected to win by the same margins as Trump states or above, Trump's chances slide all the way back down to 19% but that is still 6 points higher than the original forecast. The 8 states remaining though are basically THE battlegrounds, which means in my opinion at least, Trump's chances truly stand at around 20% as of right now. In a hypothetical scenario, let's say that Trump takes Florida and North Carolina, while Biden takes Minnesota and New Hampshire. It is looking likelier and likelier based on early voting and polling data that this scenario will occur, but Trump's chances are still below 30%. Even if he wins in Arizona, which doesn't seem very likely at this point in time based off polling data, his win probability only rises to 37%. And this is because the three Rust Belt states of Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania are all favored to go blue by pretty convincing numbers. If we were to mark down all three as going to the former Vice President Joe Biden, he has an 100% chance of winning because those three states would have him surpass 270 electoral votes. And if you watched yesterday's video, you will know that these three states have voted the exact same as one another in every presidential election since 1988. Now saying that, if we put Arizona back into the toss-up column where it belongs, and one of these Rust Belt dominoes fell, the most likely of which being Pennsylvania, Trump's chances skyrocket to 81%. If we replaced it with Michigan, his chances would be even higher at 94%. And if it were Wisconsin, they would be at their lowest, but still at a pretty high 70%. So ultimately, if President Trump holds on to the states of Florida and North Carolina as expected, Biden better hope that he does not falter anywhere in the Rust Belt, because if he does, we could witness a very similar Democratic meltdown as 2016. 
That does it for today's video though, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like it down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching and as always, tune in next time, EP out.